Hi everyone, so in this video to show you like how to measure the AC voltage using the LVS2 multi sim and oscilloscope. So we have the voltage here, okay, RMS voltage 0 0.707 and we're going to find the VA here and the VB2. V1 here, Oops. okay, VA here the voltage A here and the voltage B here okay using oscilloscope and multimeter okay so how are we going to set up in the LWIS2 so I will show you how to set up okay let's say we have the LWIS2 here okay so then we're going to like do the connection first we're going to set up the input okay so this is how it looks like let's say we have the ground now okay so let's say this one is the ground Okay, we have connected to the ground here okay so the ground here we're going to connect to this side ground okay now we have the ground for the circuit and we're going to connect the function gen as a power in uh, the input voltage okay the signal we connect to this side okay so this is the function gen here we can connect this one for as a function gen here Okay, now we have the negative and positive and in the software the software for the LVs we just turn on the function generator then we will we can set the frequency and the V peak to peak that means we can set the frequency follow the voltage here okay V peak to peak and the frequency here okay careful with the RM, RMX that means your frequency here V peak to peak you need to from RMS, you need to convert for VP to peak. That means it's like two P to peak for this one. Okay. Once we're done for the function gen, then we need to set for the oscilloscope. Okay. So for the oscilloscope, we can just plug in something like this. Okay. Let's say here is the probe for the scope. Okay. We can just connect here to this side. For the, we want to find the VA, right? And the negative. The ground to this side okay then we can find the voltage for the VA here and our probe for this probe right uh, this one okay this probe we need to connect to channel 0 here okay when we connect to channel 0 we need to go to LV software we turn on the scope and it will put out something like this then our scope we need to change to channel 0 then we run it, then we can view the result for VA here. Okay, so we're going to find for VB here, right? Okay, let's say we're going to find VB there. Then it's the same, we put the probe to here. Okay, that means the same setup. And here will be this side for the probe here. And the ground, we're going to connect to the ground here. Okay, so this is how we're going to measure for our VA and VB okay so now we know the connection for the Elvis how to connect for the Elvis for function gen and oscilloscope and I will show you in multi -sync. so multi -sync is something like this okay then we will do the connection like let's say we're going to find the current okay the input the series current here so we just like choose the multimeter Put in here then we just connect it okay then remember for multimeter we need to remove the wire for connection we need to make it like series then we turn on the series here then we can start view the result when we run it okay this is the voltage value we need to change to ampere and in ac so this is the what uh, current for the series and the current also is uh, rms okay then Let's say we're going to check the voltage. Okay, so the voltage here is okay. We run it, then we just open it. Then we need to choose voltage. Remember to change to AC because it's AC power here. Okay, then you have the voltage here. Okay, then we have the voltage for this. Another one we put another one for VB. Okay, so for VB we will put it here and here. Okay, so this one for VB. So this is the connection for VB. And then we run it. 
yeah and then remember to change to ac so from here you can view it like our input is 0707 if vrms so when you can see the voltage from va plus with vb right you will get 0 0.707 as well that means you plus this two up you will get 0 0.707 okay and the current is series is the same that's why this is your total current i mean your whole current for this one okay because it's the same so when you're going to check for oscilloscope right okay we can use oscilloscope to check the pick to pick and vpp for the va and vb as well okay so i will show you for that so let's just remove the uh, voltage for this okay so we remove all of this yeah we can also create another one let's say we just copy all of this create another file here okay, blank then we paste it here okay once we have the connection but we don't want the multi meter here so we just remove we put the scope here Okay, let's say we put a scope, we can just like connect for here to find the VB. Okay, and for another scope, we need to find for VA. Okay, so you just connect like this. Okay, let's say we turn on for scope 2. Okay, we need to run it, turn on, oops, turn on, and single, and then just pause it okay if you don't know how to use the oscilloscope you can refer to my part one for this multi -sync. okay so okay so we're going to check for the we click on measure so we're going to check for frequency it's three kilohertz okay they follow the three kilohertz here and this blue line is the channel two we can off it okay and then we go, go back to measure and then we're going to check for vrms right so we can click on here to change to okay now it's VP to pick. Okay, next. Next, we're going to find VRMS. Okay, then back. And we also can search for the maximum pick. Okay, so done. Okay, now we have all of this. Then how about the scope 2 here? So when you have like AC circle, right, all the value that you get is actually from here is like we refer to the RMS value. Okay, later I will show you the calculation. So done for this, we check for scope 2. Okay, this is uh, scope 1 for VA. Then we run it, we turn on, then we take a single value and then we pause it. Okay, let's see. We zoom in and uh, just like oops okay and then okay to this side okay then we click on measure channel one let's say we refer to the also three kilohertz okay and then another one we can refer to v pick to pick and another one will be like okay 471 Okay, so that means right, we have our voltage is 471 here, okay, and the voltage for another RMS is like 235. Okay, then we can check just now the, from here the multimeter, yeah, it's almost the same. Okay, so, but from the scope, we can't check for the current, we only can search for this, so our current will be follow this one, the multimeter. Okay, now we have the RMS value and the V pick to pick. So if you refer to V pick to pick, right? So 1.33 plus weight 665 actually is the V pick to pick at here. Okay, so yeah, I'll show you the formula. Okay, let's do the calculation. How are we going to get all this result? Okay, let's see. Okay, now we know that our result is this. Okay, so we go for the calculation here. So yeah, I'll show you the calculation. So now let's say we have like our VRMS is equal to 0 0.707. Okay, then we know that VRMS is equal to VPP divided by 2 square root 2. Okay, so our VP to pick is 
zero point seven zero seven times three two times square root two. So we will get roughly near to two volt. Okay, so this is our V P to P. That's why we can see from here, uh, six six five milliwatt plus with one point three three will get two watt. Okay, then how are we going to know the I R M S? So the I R M S, okay, value. Okay, so V R M S equal to I R M S. Okay, like like usual, what we do like V equal to I R. Okay, so our R will be R one plus R two. Okay, so we will have I R M S. Okay, our V R M S will be like zero seven zero seven divided with our R one and R two. So we will have like two K plus with one K. Okay, this is our value V R M S. So we will have roughly like zero point. Two, three, five, six milli ampere. Okay, this is our value. If we make it like micro, so we will get like two, three, five point six. Okay, micro ampere. Okay, so let's check the result. Our current here is three, two, three, five point six micro ampere. Okay, so we get our current now. So once we have our current, then we can find the VA and VB here, okay? Because when we have the current, so the current here is the same, okay? So VA will be equal to IRMS, okay? Uh, this is RMS, same as RMS here. So with the R, R1, so we will multiply it, we will get VA equal to 235.6 micro ampere divided multiply with 2 kilo is equal to 471.2 milli milliwatt. Okay, so our VA, VA, okay, then for VB is equal to IRMS. Multiply with R2, okay, R2 here. Then is equal to 235.6 macro ampere multiply with 1 kilo ohm. Okay, then we will get like 235.6 milliwatt. Okay, VB. Okay, so for V in, right? Okay, V1 will be V in. V in follow the circuit theory is like VA plus with VB. Okay, so V in. V1 equal to VA plus with VB, so the value will be 471.2 milliwatt plus with 235.6 milliwatt is equal to 0 0.707. Okay, so we have proven okay, the calculation. Okay, so let's check the result 471.2 milliwatt and 235.6 milliwatt. For VB and VA. So let's go for the simulation here. Okay, then we can see the scope one for VA here is 471. Okay, and VB will be for the scope for here, the VB 235. Okay, let's check again. Yeah, 235 and 471. Okay, now we have proven yeah how to measure the VA and VB for the AC circuit, the VRMS value. Okay, and the uh, IRMS current as well. Okay, so this is how it looks like how to measure. Okay, using the NILVs and multi-sim and the oscilloscope. Okay, so thank you.